Did toy companies go all in with the new Captain America this week? Were you expecting a brand new wave of parks and recreation pops? And have you saved up enough money for all of the fire dropping on May the 4th? Find out right now on Funko Worldwide. Welcome back to Funko Worldwide, where mature adult decisions are extremely frowned upon. I'm your host, Don Jarling, and tonight we're going to break down everything that happened this past week in the collecting community. After a full week of opening up WonderCon mail and checking the Funko shop for new releases, collectors everywhere are ready for another great week of fun. This past week kicked off with toy companies going all in with the new Captain America toys and collectibles. Funko kicked off the excitement on Monday with the reveal of several new Sam Wilson Captain America Pops. Check out the newest wave consisting of Captain America, Bucky, Running John Walker, Flying Cap exclusive to Walmart, Cap Holding His Shield exclusive to GameStop, and Year of the Shields Captain America exclusive to Amazon. This past Wednesday, there was also lots of hype surrounding the newest Funko Soda, which features Captain America, and if you're lucky, you'll find the chase with his signature wings. Pre-orders sold out in minutes for the 12,500 limited piece soda on just about every single online retail site. That's not the only soda news we have, though. This past Monday, Funko dropped the Shang-Chi Soda, limited to only 15,000 pieces on their site. Orders for this guy did not sell out fast as collectors were not quite as excited for this soda's chase. However, Marvel fans are very excited for the new Shang-Chi and Legend of the Ten Rings movie, which is scheduled to hit theaters September 3rd. We also have a few new soda rumors that we need to mention as Brian Mariotti teased fans over on Twitter saying that some more Scooby-Doo villain sodas could be on the way very soon. He even went so far as to tease collectors with a new Freddy Funko soda and promising more details on him May 17th. Shifting back over into the Marvel realm, head on over to Target today if you haven't already to see if you can grab any of the new X-Men Blacklight Marvel Pops. Don't freak out if you don't see the new Wolverine t-shirt bundle though, as it's not scheduled to hit shelves until Tuesday, May 11th. While you're waiting for that new bundle, head on over to Amazon to pre-order the newest Funkoverse game and expansion pack. The new edition comes with Captain America, Black Widow, Black Panther, and Iron Man, while the expansion pack features the Mad Titan himself, Thanos. Not sure if anyone is still trying to figure out how to play this game, but hey, it has to be better than 12 hours of Monopoly, right? Moving over to the DC side of life, collectors are excited and frustrated over the newest Imperial Palace Batman leaks, the metallic blue Batman and metallic Joker. DC fans desperately want to get these pops for their collections, but seeing as they're being released all the way over in Shanghai poses some obstacles as to how to get them here in the States. It's already difficult enough to get pops here in the US. Collectors were also confused as to why both of these pops have 2021 shared summer convention stickers on the front. Could these be San Diego Comic-Con exclusives? And is this the sticker that we're going to get this summer? Despite the fact that we've emailed Funko directly 85 times this week alone, they have yet to respond and give us any answers regarding these new DC pops. Funko has given us lots to keep busy though, as a brand new wave of parks and recreation pops were revealed this week. The line that was once thought dead due to licensing issues is now back in full force and could become the new office line if Funko is not careful. Check out Hunter Ron with Chase, Duke Silver, Leslie as Rosie the Riveter, Janet Snakehole, Princess Unicorn Andy, Cones of Dunshire Ben with the Chase, Funko Shop exclusive Sick Ron, Broken Legs Andy, and a two-pack exclusive to Target with Ron and Leslie. As long as Funko doesn't give us as many Rons as there are Dwight's, collectors will be happy and not nearly as broke as office collectors. My heart goes out to you if you unfortunately like both shows. And speaking of unfortunate things, it appears that Funko is not done with the foodies line. This week we got word that a cherry Coke can is on the way and will be exclusive to none other than Hot Topic. 
There's also a Hershey Kiss Pop on the horizon as well, but collectors may let this one slide as the cuteness level is off the charts. I mean, come on, who doesn't love Hershey Kisses? Funko also showed off a new vintage ad icon that will be dropping sometime this week on the Funko Shop. And even though he's arguably one of the most sought after ad icons pops, we're not sure if fans are liking this version as much as Funko hopes so. Check out the vintage Tony the Tiger, which looks like a cross between a pop, a Dorbs, and a Happy Meal Kids toy. If you don't have a Tony for your collection, this could be the pop to get, as we all know the other ones are pretty pricey. The European Funko Shop site also gave away a potential look this week at a non-glow version of the Treasure Skeleton Pop. In case you all don't remember, this was the most sought after pop from Emerald City Comic Con this year, as it was limited to only 4,000 pieces and glowed in the dark. This pop could be a future Disney Parks exclusive and one that you want to keep an eye out for if you weren't able to grab the Emerald City Comic Con 1. And last but certainly not least, we have to talk about one of the most important days of the year, May the 4th, otherwise known as Star Wars Day. This Tuesday, Star Wars fans and collectors everywhere are already bracing for what is sure to be a big day for toy companies and collecting. No word yet on what pops, Lego sets, hot toys, or other collectibles will be dropping on Tuesday, but Hasbro has already promised fans that it's sure to be epic. And speaking of epic, a new vintage Boba Fett pop was spotted on eBay this past week, and the incredible company Epic Collectibles even has it up on their site right now for only $40. Even though we don't know what's dropping on Tuesday, Hot Toys has already announced some new Star Wars figures to get us excited. Check out the new six-scale Biker Scout Trooper on speeder bike from The Mandalorian. You can even grab the deluxe version with Baby Grogu. Hot Toys also announced the Rise of Skywalker edition Kylo Ren. Complete with LED battle damage hat helmet and lightsaber, Kylo is ready to storm his way onto your shelves. The six scale action doesn't stop there as Hot Toys could not miss out on the Captain America hype this week. Check out the absolutely gorgeous Sam Wilson Captain America figure in his brand new suit. This figure also comes with his trusty Red Wing drone, the classic Captain America shield, and has a massive wingspan so you get the full effect of how awesome the new Cap is. Just like Kylo and the Biker Scout Trooper, Cap is also currently up for pre-order and due to arrive sometime late next summer. In case you don't have room for a six scale figure, Hot Toys also announced the incredibly cute Cosbaby version of Sam Wilson. He may not be as massive, but he is just as mighty. He's also much better for your budget and your significant other may not notice right away if you slip him into the house. He or she may notice though if you bring in the latest quarter scale figure as Hot Toys also announced a special Tom Holland Spider-Man figure battling the Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming. Some boxes unfortunately are just too big to hide. Now let's see what's happening in the movies this week. The Star Wars hype is real as the animated series The Bad Batch featuring Clone Force 99 premieres on Tuesday. Star Wars fans are also excited for the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series, and you'll be happy to know that Ewan McGregor is just as pumped as he's been prepping for days and apparently spending lots of time practicing hand-to-hand -hand and sword maneuvers in preparation for the show. DC fans are also very excited as it was announced DC fandom will be returning October 10th. Thankfully, we have lots of stuff to watch before that, including the hit DC show, Stargirl, which premieres its second season on August 10th. This week, we also got some casting news from the upcoming Green Lantern series, as Finn Wittrock has been cast as Guy Gardner. Over in the MCU, fans enjoyed seeing the very first leaked set photos of Miss Marvel in her comic book accurate superhero outfit this week. Marvel fans have also been getting restless though, as there's been very little news surrounding any of the new Marvel Lego sets, specifically the rumored Daily Bugle modular set. This set was rumored to be releasing sometime in May, although now it's looking like it could be June or even July. We did however get pictures for several new City Safari sets, some Nick Jago sets, Disney sets, 3-in-1 creator sets, and even a few new Minecraft sets. Some more Brickhead sets are also on the way, including Huey, Dewey, and Louie, Scrooge McDuck, and Daisy Duck. There's even a new architecture set that was just leaked, the Taj Mahal. And for all of you who enjoy building cars, check out the new Speed Champion sets. 
No word yet on when any of these will be rele releasing, but it will be most likely sometime this summer. Finally, we got a sneak peek at the back of the Bad Batch shuttle set box, which comes with all five members of the Bad Batch and is supposed to be hitting stores sometime this week. Now it's time for everyone's second favorite segment, our three stars of the week. Let's see which channels have been dropping some great content lately and are deserving of some recognition. Coming in for our third star of the week is a great channel who is going crazy for sodas lately. Congratulations to Kenny and Chris, aka Two Dudes with a Hobby, for hitting 150 subscribers. For our second star of the week, we have another awesome channel who only has six Freddies at the moment, but they could have 50 by the end of next week. Give it up for Mary to a Nerd 2133 who just hit 250 subscribers. And now for our number one star of the week, we are excited to recognize an incredible couple who has been putting out some great segments lately, especially their Turtle Tuesdays. Huge mega congrats to What The Pop for hitting 700 subscribers. Way to go, Emma and Steele. If you guys are not subscribed to any of these amazing channels, take a break from waiting for the mailman to bring you your WonderCon sodas and go give them your support. Now let's check in with our wonder of a weather girl, Fallon Frost. How's it going out there? Hey Don, today's weather is sunny, very, very hot, and maybe a little bit of a breeze. And now I have a question for you all. What sort of animal wears sunglasses? A solar bear. Back to you, Don. Not quite sure what a solar bear is, Fallon, but very glad to hear that spring is officially here. Now it's time to talk mystery boxes, and the past few days have been eerily quiet. Mystery Grail is back though, as they dropped 1,750 boxes once again this afternoon, with the top hits being the San Diego Comic Con Metallic Co Count Chocula and the Glow in the Dark White Phoenix. Jay Navo is also back tonight at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, as they'll be dropping a $100 box with $95 back in guaranteed value. With only 25 boxes in the run, you have a great shot at getting the extremely rare 1970s Blue Box Elvis. Make sure you set your alarms as these boxes will very likely sell out fast. Another event you'll want to set an alarm for is a brand new virtual con coming to the Funko community this Thursday. The popular Thursday night live stream team made up of the Poppin' Duo, Rock and Row, Professor Josh, and Slapshot Pops, aka Pop Force One, are having their very first con this Thursday night. Head on over so you don't miss out on some epic merch they'll only be dropping once for the entire year. Con boxes are only limited to 100 and their exclusive jerseys are straight fire. Thank you all for watching tonight's special broadcast of Funko Worldwide. I'm your host, Don Jarling, signing off. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future news and, of course, my epic suits. Have a great week, and we'll see you all next Sunday.